G'day gang, Dan here, how you going? We're here with a brand new series, a World of Warcraft walkthrough with a human paladin. This guy, and the way he looks, is actually the same look that I've got in my Shadowlands series. If you're familiar with my game Olio Dan channel, you might have seen it over there. But what I wanted to do, and the reason why I've got this on a different channel, is I wanted to sort of take my time with it, and just have it on one channel, and it's going to be this guy, Exploring World of Warcraft, we're going to start from Northshire Valley and then just go through all the world, uh, do all the quests. As many zones as we feel like, uh, we may explore other stuff after that, but for the most part I just want to go through quests, I want to go through dungeons, and uh, we'll see where we go after that. Anyway, his name is Artraxius, but he doesn't look like that. He may look like that now in Shadowlands, but we're going to start back in the day. So let's, uh, let's make a few modifications. We'll change his skin color a little bit, his hairstyle, let's... He had a quiff. Yeah, he had a quiff back in the day, how's that? Wasn't as gray. Go to number nine. We're gonna lose the beard, we're gonna lose... Yeah, lose all the facial hair. And... Actually, I think we're good. Sideburns, yep. All right, Artraxius, the younger paladin. Let's do this. Emboldened by the return of their heroic king, Varian Rin, the proud humans of Stormwind led the Alliance to victory in its war against the dreaded Lich King. While successful, the campaign in Northrend proved costly, and the humans now seek to bolster their strategic holdings throughout the world. Under Varian's daring leadership, humanity now braces itself for a renewed conflict with its perennial enemy, the Horde. Yet, as the great cataclysm rips across the world, familiar threats have once again arisen closer to home. It now falls to you to defend the kingdom and uphold the honor of humanity. All right. The young paladin Artraxius. This takes place just after the Wrath of the Lich King expansion, which you just heard, I guess. Uh, about going to Northrend and taking on the Lich King. Alright, Marshal McBride, let's have a chat. With you. So, you're the new recruit from Stormwind, eh? I'm Marshal McBride, commander of this garrison. Glad to have you on board. McBride looks through his some papers. Artraxius? It is Artraxius, right? You've arrived just in time. The Blackrock Hawks have managed to sneak into Northshire through a break in the mountain. My soldiers are doing the best that they can to push them back, but I fear they will be overwhelmed soon. Head northwest into the forest and kill the attacking Blackrock Wargs. Help my soldiers. Be careful. Okay. Can do. I can see the warg over there. So we got Crusader Strike right here, which I can use to attack. Smack him around by pressing that one button. Right click and then loot. Let's get this one over here. I should just right click to auto attack. Pay attention to my loot just in case we get anything good. I think at this point just about anything will be better. Although I do like the set that we've got on here. I've not seen this before because it's been a long time since I created a new character. Or at least a new paladin. So we only have this one button really that we can press. But I'm sure that'll change soon enough. Currently sitting at level one of course. As we go along. Hopefully we get two buttons to press. So if you are familiar with my other channel, or if you're not familiar with it, rather, uh, I actually play... Oh, there's a Blackrock Sentry right there. I actually play through MMORPGs. Uh, I have a fair few that I'm playing through on the other channel, but I wanted this channel just to focus on World of Warcraft. It is one of my favorite MMORPGs, so I thought it'd be nice just to have a little space for it to have this other character that I'm able to play. What can I do for you? You've bought us a little time, Artraxius. But we've got even bigger problems to deal with now. 
So we got some warg handlers gloves. We leveled up. We got shield of the righteous. Slams enemies in front of you with your shield, causing eight holy damage. Fantastic. So we can pop on uh, that by right clicking. Actually, it's the same as my paladin gauntlets, so I won't bother at the moment. But if I wanted to, I would just right click and then it would equip. But that's going to ruin my set. Let's try to maintain that for as long as possible. Or the Alliance. All right. Like so we missed that. The invading orcs aren't fools. They are sizing us up, making sure that when they attack, it will be to their advantage. In the forest in the northwest are Blackrock spies. They peer at us through spyglasses, watching our every move, waiting. I want you to take the fight to them. Kill the Blackrock spies. We must show them that we know they are watching us and that we are prepared. Okay. And as you can see, the quest takes place over there. I can get that by pressing M as well shows me the location the general location for those spies but you can see that yellow bar there just above their head that means they're they're hidden over there they're not going to attack us on site but i'll attack them on site and as we got the shield we can use shield of the righteousness or righteous rather so i'll just move that over here I need three holy power, which is what you can see up here. So currently I've got two holy power. So if I hit this guy one time, I should have three and then I can hit him with a shield. Smack him right in the face. Right in his orc face. Yeah, so typically I like to read the quests. I like to read... You know, letters and stuff that we find. So you'll see a lot of that happening. I don't quite go ahead and read all those books, unless it's one that's quite interesting. Or uh, pertains to a particular quest that I'm doing. Because there's, there's books lying around that'll give you a lot of lore. I have considered actually just, just reading those books. Just gathering all the books and just reading them out in one go. Bit of story time. Because there is some good stuff there. I see you spying, but do you see me? I'm standing right in front. Oh, they see me. <laughs> oh, they see me. Okay, so we need one more. Oh, kill human. Not today, fella. Not today. So if you actually, if you click on that, that'll bring up your uh, journal and you can get some more information about rewards uh, that you're going to get there, gold and so on, the amount of experience. That's quite handy. Sometimes you do a quest and you're like, I just can't figure out how, why, why am I not, what's going on here? How come I can't do this quest? Well, sometimes there's like a little detail in the journal that you may have missed. So it's, it's handy to have quick access to it. Oh, he's giving me the golf clap. Excellent work, Artraxius. You've turned out to be quite an asset to this garrison. It's time for you to train. I received an urgent message from Sergeant Willem. Turns out that the Blackrock Orcs have hired goblin assassins. They ambush our battalion behind the abbey. Willem has asked me to send him a hero. You have to go and help him, Artraxius. Find Sergeant Willem north of the abbey at the command tent. Go. Go with honor, friend. I will go with honor, friend. So this is uh, also three armor, so I won't bother putting it on. But again, if you just right click it, it will equip it. Got a new ability called Judgment, which judges the target, dealing 15 holy damage. How are you? Oh, it's true. We were ambushed. I don't dare send any more soldiers out there and risk losing them too. I need a volunteer. Someone's willing to risk their life. There ain't no way I did a hundred quests just then, unless you all saw something that I didn't see. Have you ever seen a goblin Artraxius? They're wretched little monsters that love only two things, gold and themselves. The Blackrock Orcs have enlisted the aid of goblin assassins to kill our soldiers. If you look to the field in the north, you can barely make out their silhouettes sneaking about in the grass. 
I need you to head out there and kill every goblin that you see. They need to learn that nobody messes with the Alliance. See you around. See you around, buddy. What about you? Actually, let's go do this one first. We'll do this quest first, then we'll come back for that one. There's a goblin assassin right there. move that all along to a place that's a little bit more familiar with me. Yeah, so on my other channel, actually I'm playing through Shadowlands on the older Artraxius. I'll put a link in the description here. I'll put a link in the in one of the cards or something. So if you are interested in checking it out, you can have a look over there. Three of eight. Prior to that, we played through the entirety of Battle for Azeroth, although I did that on a different character. I did that on a recreation of my very first character, which was a Night Elf warrior. That was quite, quite the epic journey, we went through everything. Went through all the storyline, all the quests, all, well, some dungeons that we needed to go through and then all the raids. Which is more or less how I'm playing through Shadowlands at the moment. And that series should finish at some point, I guess. I'm kind of, I'm kind of getting there. I'm kind of getting there. You need something? That will teach those monsters. They'll think twice before taking another mercenary job for orcs. Ah, oh, excellent work, Artraxius. The rear is now officially clear. We'll take care of the strangers. Or the stragglers. I want you to go back to Marshal McBride, standing in front of North Shire Abbey, south of here, and let him know that the goblin situation is under control. Farewell, Paladin. All right, well, I'll go there. I'll have a good one, but first I'm going to have a chat to this guy. Brother Paxton. Have you ever, have you embraced the holy light yet, brother? It is through the holy light that we are saved. It is through the holy light that I am able to deal these overly demanding, heal these overly demanding soldiers. And it is through the holy light that you will be able to venture out into the field to the north and rescue our fallen brothers. Take this prayer book with you into the field and cast a light's healing touch on the injured. Hey, these guys are too loud. Trying to, trying to have a chat to Brother Paxton here. I can't even hear what he's saying, mate. Greetings. All right, so we'll find some people to heal. Oh, I healed myself. Okay, it doesn't work that way. I've got to go over and right-click on him. Thought I could just heal him from afar. Silly paladin, you can't do that. Well, maybe later on I will be able to. This guy I could give a heal to, couldn't I? No, guess not. Oh, hang on, I had the wrong person target. Hang on, let's give this guy. Let's target this guy. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, I'll help that guy out so we can quiet him down. I think you now understand the power of the light. The light giveth hope, brother, and the like light taketh from the darkness. Blessed be the light. See you later. Mate, look at that hair. Oh my goodness. You're ready for a commercial or something. Okay, so this is actually better than what we've got. So we will equip that because it's got seven armor versus our six armor. You can see down the bottom, plus one armor. So I'll right click on that. And that is about it. I can go over here and actually sell some stuff if I want to. Things on her um, so I've got a sell junk button. That's only because I've got an add-on. And Tell I've added that over here. So it's called sell junk. So that just, well met. it's just a quality of life thing. But I can easily just go over here and right click to make a sale to this guy. But I just have that so I can just press one button. It is something that I'd like to see in just standard World of Warcraft. And not have to actually put an add-on to use it. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Greetings. 
With your help, we have managed to secure the northern and western sectors of Northshire. We still have a rather large contingency of Blackrock Orcs to the east, and they've begun burning down the forest. The Orcs have begun a burning down the forest, Altraxius. They've taken over the vineyard to the east, and are planning their final assault against us. They must be stopped. Head east across the river and kill the rampaging Blackrock Orcs. Collect their weapons as proof of their demise. And return to me. You're our only hope, Artraxius. Well, bless you. Much like Obi-Wan. You need something? Times like these make me long for when the Defias were still around. The Cataclysm has opened a pathway from the burning steppes and now Black Rock walks pour into Northshire Valley. They've taken over my vineyard and are burning it to the ground. To the ground! Please, Artraxius, that vineyard is all I have. Take my fire extinguisher and extinguish the flames at the vineyard. There still might be hope for that land. See you later. You got it, Millie. No problem. What are these guys doing? All this stuff is happening. You all just stay there. Are oh, they the registrar? Okay, this, they're busy signing people up. I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay. So we're going to make our way over here. Uh, the North Shire Vineyards, which does look like it's all on fire. I don't know if we're going to be able to rescue this. But we can certainly stop further damage so we've got uh we've got something to we got an extinguisher on our back ready to fire ward everywhere so millie's fire extinguisher extinguishes fire at the north shire vineyards just point and shoot but before we do that let's take out some invaders the grapes were very tasty to get close to those fires over there. There is nothing left here. So I'd actually played... I actually had a Human Paladin classic series. And uh, you can see this area here. How it was in the past. And it's not like this. <laughs> There's Defias around. A different group. And it's definitely not on fire. It's interesting to see how things have changed and the different quests that are available now. That fire some water in that guy's face. Guy needs to cool off. Oh, you can also see down below. Another, where well, you see your health bar, but you can also see the holy power as well, so you don't always have to look up here, which is handy. Alright, let's put out some fires. We've taken care of the orcs required to take care of. Just extinguish all these fires, although we're going to have to take out a few more orcs to get where we need to get to. Six of eight. If you are quite familiar with World of Warcraft or you have played now or you play now or in the past, what class and race do you play? And what's your favorite? I, I tend to find I'm playing a lot of paladins these days, but I also like the rogue. Big fan of the rogue. And uh, well, the warrior was my first, so always have fond memories of playing a warrior. But I really haven't played much of a warrior this whole expansion. Even though I do have one, I just really haven't done much with him. I do quite enjoy the Paladin because you can use it to do DPS in the Retribution spec. You can use it to heal in the Holy spec. And you can use it to tank in the Protection spec. So I find myself alternating between Retribution and uh, Protection for the most part. Hey there. Bless your heart, Artraxius. You truly are a hero of the Alliance. Though the land is completely incinerated and there is nothing left of the vineyard but ash and debris, I still might be able to recover, right? I mean, how bad can it be? Uh, it's, it's, it's not good. Safe travels. All right, Millie. 
She sounds like she's positive oh. and everything. Positive attitude, that's good. Have you killed the rampaging orc hordes? I've got their weapons. The Black Rock Orcs will surely fall now that their main force has been defeated. Only one task remains. So this right here, the Hammer of Justice is a stun. The rampaging orc horde is led by a savage beast known as Kurtok the Slayer. Kurtok is responsible for the recent invasion and must be killed if we are to have peace in the valley. Venture back east, across the river and through the vineyard, and look for the passage leading into the mountains. Kurtok will be there, preparing for another assault. You kill him, and you return to me. Be careful. Alright. So head through the vineyard that's on fire, past the thousand orcs that are all gathered there, and kill that guy. But be careful. Alright, be careful. We're gonna send you solo, but just be careful, alright? Heal me, Paxter! He's, Paxter's not even here, buddy. I'll give you a heal, though. I'll give you a heal and I'll help you out. Alright, so we want to go across the water. And then over here, ending the invasion. Kurtok the Slayer. Let's take him nice and easy. If you are interested in live streams, I actually do stream on Twitch five days a week. So uh, if you'd like to see what I do over there, I'm over at twitch.tv slash gameoleodan. And uh, I do a range of things, but I play a fair few MMORPGs. Sometimes it's World of Warcraft. Sometimes it's Elder Scrolls Online. Sometimes it might be Guild Wars 2 or Star Wars The Old Republic. It could really be anything. It depends what's available and what the newest content is. And what I've got to go through. But we have a nice community over there. Be great to see you over there. Over there, over there, over there and out. Kurtok the Slayer. The Black Rock Line will end you. As he sparkles on the ground. Alright, we got that guy. And it doesn't look like they're going to be able to come through there anymore. Alright, let's head back. Now, instead of walking all the way back, I can actually just use my Hearthstone because when you create a new character, it'll be bound to where you started off, which was right outside there. So I'll use that. Gives you a little bar there. And once that thing fills up, it's going to teleport us. Just like magic. Here we are, right in front. Now, when you visit an inn, you can actually go and talk to the innkeeper and it'll bind there. So instead of teleport here you'll teleport to whichever inn that you're bound to i'll show you later on but for now let's talk to this guy and equip our funky cloak <laughs> light be with you with kurtok slain we are safe once again from the orcish hordes i will send peasants to the pass in an attempt to seal the passage but no more orcs may come through into our territory you have the thanks of stormwind and of the Alliance hero. Alright, so we've got an option of a two-handed weapon. Or a military hammer, one-handed weapon. So this one does 0.6 damage per second. This one does 0.7. I might stick with the one-hander though and keep the shield. And I'll equip that by right-clicking again. And there's the old weapon, the worn mace. Atraxius, you are a paladin with a proven interest in the security of Northshire. You are now tasked with the protection of the surrounding Elwyn Forest. If you accept this duty, then I have prepared papers that must be delivered to Marshal Duggan in Golgia. Golgia lies along the southern road past the border gates. Go with honor, friend. Oh! You were dismissed, Artraxia. Why was I sparking? That was interesting. I looked like I was about to explode or something. Alright, so we're going to go for a little adventure. This is the starting area, I guess. And we're venturing forth now into Elwyn Forest over here. Report to Goldshire. That Goldshire, Goldshire. I don't know, maybe people in the UK would pronounce it Goldshire. Would you pronounce it Goldshire? Northshire? I myself would say Northshire. Northshire Valley. I'm from Australia. I don't know. Maybe that's the way we're supposed to say it. I don't know. What can I do for you? 
Every adventurer should rest when exhaustion sets in, and there is no finer place to get rest and relaxation than at the Lion's Pride Inn. My best friend, Innkeeper Farley, runs the Lion's Pride. If you tell him I sent you, he may give you the special discounted rates on food and drink. To find the Lion's Pride Inn, travel south along the road from here, you can't miss it. Alright, he's going to give us some braces as well, nice. Safe travel. Safe travels, friend. So, that's essentially going to the same place that we need to go report to uh, Duggan, Marshal Duggan. So we'll take a nice relaxing stroll along this path. You can see a settlement down there, that's where we want to go. This little tag actually gives you an indicator of how many yards you've got to go. I don't know if you can actually change that to meters, which is what we use in Australia. Yards and miles and all that sort of stuff is that's we don't use that here. We use kilometers, meters, centimeters, millimeters. You guys have inches and feet and all that stuff. All right, so we're 100 yards away, 100 units away. You can see a storm wind guard there. Actually, they're pretty handy. If you go and right click on them, uh, they'll give you a list of things that you. Like, if you need to find a certain profession, uh, trainers, you need something, or any of this stuff. So if you're looking for the bank, for example, they'll say, a bank? Well, the closest bank around here is Stormwind Counting House. It's just up the road in Stormwind, not far from the gates, Go with honor, which is up there. Up there somewhere. Yeah. In fact, you can go and talk to another Stormwind guard when you're there, and they should put a marker right where, the, where you want to go. Uh, this is a fly path, so we'll have a chat to them to unlock that. Hey there. Uh, we've only got we've got Stormwind, so we could actually get a flight to Stormwind right now. But as one. you travel around the world, you'll see these people about. It's worthwhile just going over to them and unlocking them because you may be using them in the future. All right, there's Thank Duggan. You. King's honor, friend. Ah, oh, it's hard enough to keep keeping order around here without all these new troubles popping up. I hope you have good news, Artraxius. You have word from McBride? Northshire... Northshire... Northshire is a garden compared to Owen Forest, but I wonder what Marshal McBride has to report. Yeah, let me have his papers. So, here's the papers. You can actually read it if you want. Uh, so the report, Kobolds. The activity of Kobolds has decreased in Northshire Valley. All Kobolds were driven off by the rampaging Blackrock Orcs. There used to be kobolds there in classic, so that's, that's kind of cool. Report Blackrock Orcs. An invasion force of Blackrock Orcs have emerged in the valley. This attack seems to be a precursor to something far more insidious. Warn Magistrate Solomon of Lakeshire. Commendation. The bearer of these documents is to be awarded deputy status with a Stormwind army. Having served Northshire with eagerness and distinction, I am confident you will find this person useful in Elwyn Forest. Signed, Marshal Douglas McBride. Okay. Need help? Well, it says that you've been awarded acting deputy status with the Stormwind Marshals. Congratulations. And good luck. Keeping Elwyn safe is no picnic. What with most the army busy doing who knows what for who knows which noble, it's hard to keep track of politics in these dark days. Okay, so we've got an option here. We can have a shield or we could have some pants. Now, I'm partial to pants, but I think I'll go for the shield today. It's got 23 armor, more than what we've got on the other one, and it also has 57 block, which sounds great to me. Life bless you. So I'll right-click on that, the pikeman's shield. And that's our shield now, and what it looked like before. Slightly nicer, I guess. Before alliance. we talk to that guy, let's go inside the inn and have a chat. Somebody just kill a chicken? Whatever. Whatever now. <laughs> Let's go have a chat to this guy. How are you? Rest and relaxation. Welcome to my inn, weary traveler. What can I do for you? Rest and relaxation for the tired and cold. That's our motto. Please take a seat by the fire and rest your weary bones. Would you like to try a sampling of some of our fine food and drink? Uh, I would, yes. Thanks, mate. See you later. Now, this guy is an innkeeper. And you can see the hearthstone icon, which looks just like that pop up when you uh, hover over his head. 
So I'll right click on his bald head. You need something? And then over here you've got make this in your home. So I'll click on that. See you around. Do you want to make Lion's Pride in your new home? Yes, except... And he does some sort of magic and slams it into my face. And now this is Good where I... This is where I go Have if I use this. So it says returns you to Lion's Pride in, which is right here. It's got a 30 minute cooldown at the moment. All right, so we'll probably just take a moment by the fire and uh, enjoy this uh, pumpkin and drink. That's it. Thanks, folks. I hope you enjoyed this first episode. If you did, do me a favor, hit the like button. Maybe hit the subscribe button if you've not been on here before. And you might want to check out my other channel at youtube.com slash Anyway, that's it from me. I'll see you next time. Bye.